Well, here we are. Taking Zach's car to go uh, do some Durham Town racing in the canned ham. Uh, even though I usually drive a Polaris, obviously. So we will see how that goes. Still in the same class, stock engine, stock turbo. So it says King of Hammers car. How's it gonna go, TJ? It's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna. It might not go. We don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> then we got this motherfucker. Always. Always, motherfucker. <laughs> We're gonna keep the. Gotta be careful what I say. Gotta keep the black side down. But then I realized my car's all black now, so I gotta say the black rubber side down. Yeah. Guess we'll uh, we'll see how she do. Hopefully we're not flippy. Shit, it wouldn't be TJ's first time. <laughs>
interesting day. So, um, long story short, I ended up getting third. I should have the video from TJ's camera. Uh, tires weren't hooking MRT uh, 30s, but they were had way too much air. Last minute thing. Had to fix the suspension with no time on it. Uh, just anything you could expect with last minute type stuff. So, um, and second for a while, Braden finally got by me because I just couldn't hook and they're on Hoosiers, which obviously are the best tires because that's what everybody runs unless you're me um so they were hooking even though they wet the track two times before we went out two different trucks wet the track uh no big deal i got third is what it is last minute i can't expect you know i got a podium cool i thought i got a podium i got dq'd uh pulled in we tech top three tech for uh, multiple classes not everybody i guess the pay classes they teched um and i got dq'd i was too low in the front which they said had to be eight inches. So I pull outside, scrape the mud off. Then I come back in, put it on the concrete. He said, I'm good in the front. This is CJ Greaves, which anybody knows he races. So I'm good in the front. See if this thing stays on. I'm good in the front. Says I'm too low in the back. I'm like, there's nothing I can do. He's like, well, you can't pass unless you're eight inches. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I'm pulling off. I'm just, I'm fucking over it. Uh, but me and TJ the day before had discussed that we never found in the rules that you could download never seen the ride height ever there's nowhere in the rules is right all right see if this battery stays uh so so that goes to look for himself in the rule book he's like dude it's nowhere in here in the pdf that you can download for the rules for the race he goes to everett uh if anybody knows everett boodle and he's like hey look through this with me see if you see it they both look through it ever looks so he's like dude it's nowhere in here and everybody knows i got disqualified he said it's nowhere in here um, so he's like, yeah, let me talk to Robin. It, it, it's nowhere in here that it needs to be eight inches. I get, I think in Champ it's supposed to be eight, but you have to, we have to know the rules before, you know, we have a tech and then we're like, hey, here's the rules. The rules are in their book that they have in there wrote down. That means you would have to come from out of town, read through all the rules they have, and then set your car for whatever the rules are. Versus you should, you should be able to see the rules before you get here like where you sign up they should have the rules that's that seems pretty normal to me um so now we've been waiting over an hour i think yeah over an hour gotta be an hour and something i guess uh for robin to give us a decision which if i'm being honest seems like we're being avoided because everett was not talking to us uh i don't know where zach is right now i want to say he was looking for robin but i don't know where she is Either it's yes or no. If you want to disqualify me, nothing I can do about it. You don't want to pay me. I think it's $200 for third. You want to pay me? Okay, fine. But, uh, I mean, I won't come back because you're not going by your rules. You're going by whatever rules you have here that you can type up because it literally says in the book, added page. That means later on it was added. At what point was it added? We don't know if it was added today, 10 minutes before we teched. A month before we as racers we have no idea and the thing is i get that they're trying to make it more strict because it is getting more and more strict but i think they're trying to um help people i guess move up to places that are real strict on stuff i think since met america shut down or whatever and then they're trying to do people for champs so they're trying to be strict i get that but if you're going to do by the rules then we have to go by the rules and the ride height is not in the rules Cameron in the NA class also got disqualified, but they don't pay in there. I don't think so. I don't think he wasn't really worried about it. He's like, ah, whatever. But he also got disqualified. So now I'm sitting here in the truck still waiting and I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go for a while now. Like if they're not going to give me the money, they're not going to give me third points and say, Hey, we're going to disqualify you regardless. So be it. I don't care. Whatever, dude. But now you just kind of know how it's ran. I, I don't know if they're going to do that, but I'm a little annoyed at this point because we've been sitting around for over an hour and I could be home by now. And here I am. So that's how the freaking day went for me. And um, the car didn't hook at all on the tires and I did what I could with it, but not, not good enough. The lower horsepower cars just literally pulled away from me because they wet the track. They had them Hoosiers. They just pulled away. Overflated MRTs didn't work well. My own fault. Not lowering pressure. It is what it is. I ain't complaining about that. So. That's how my day went here. Not fantastic. Well, they end up paying, uh, which is nice, but it's a lot longer wait than I thought was necessary. But hey, I mean, I guess it worked out. Um, Zach was my spokesperson because I was just kind of over it. Uh, so there's 
supposed to give me the points too, which is kind of what's important at the end, because uh, I was second behind Brayden in points. Uh, so I'm still a little bit behind, I guess, in points from him, but you never know with racing. I mean, he could break and get nothing or get whatever, and I could have my 40. Uh, you know, you never know. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes next next race. I don't know if I'll be in their car. Their car, you see, C and Zach's because I know they got to get ready for SEMA, so I might be in my own Pro XP. Who knows? It's definitely high enough, <laughs> way off eight inches. But anyway, on the way back home.